man, did I ever learn a painful lesson and never overlooking the obvious. Do you guys remember when I bought this old Chevy cop car up in Maine a couple months ago? It had a misfire in my first video that I thought had something to do with bad gas because this car had sat for so long. Well, I put a thousand miles on it, ran a couple tanks of gas through it, and it's no better. If anything, it's a little bit worse. So rather than, you know, try to diagnose and troubleshoot this thing methodically, I went right for the jugular and I decided to change this OptiSpark ignition here, which is down behind the water pump and down behind the harmonic balancer. You got to take all this off. You got to take off this air injection pump. It's a big job. Well, once you know, I did that, got the car back together, and that wasn't the source of my problem. So now I decided I'm not going to throw any more money at this thing. I'm going to try to figure out what the problem is and, and go straight for that rather than just guess, which is what I should have done in the first place. So I decided what I was going to do was come back to the back of the car and try to see which bank of the engine it was misfiring from. This car, being a true dual exhaust, it's not a crossover or Y-pipe deal. You know, this tailpipe's for this bank of the engine, this tailpipe's for this bank of the engine. Well, I put my ear down here, and this one's sputtering and misfiring like crazy, and this one's running perfectly fine. So I know my problem's on one of these four cylinders over here. So I decided while the car's running, I'm going to disconnect these spark plug wires one at a time. So theoretically, if this cylinder's not having an issue and I pull that wire off, the car should run a lot worse. If this one happens to be my cylinder I am having the issue with, when I pull that wire off, nothing should change. But once you know, the very first wire I go to do this to is that back one there. Whatever cylinder that is, I don't know. And the wire fell off in my hand. It wasn't even attached. That was the source of my problem the entire time. And I wasted, oh, I don't know, four to six hours doing this OptiSpark. Ran into a bunch of broken bolts. It was, it was a nightmare of a job when all I needed to do was check the spark plug wires. It's funny, when I first got this car and it was misfiring, I pulled a couple of these plugs out. They were brand new, and I think I pulled two on that side and they were brand new. So I had no reason to believe it was wires or plugs because they had been changed. Well, don't overlook the obvious because it can bite you. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you in the next video.